Okay, to deploy the LEFS antenna, which is an NFED antenna, what I'm going to do is I have my Arborist throw bag with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It's a throw cube. And all you do is take it and put it on the ground, step on the corners and give it a twist and it'll pop open like that. Now I have a small throw weight on here and the line is just flaked inside of the bag. So the first thing I gotta do is get this throw weight up and over a limb so I can pull the wire up. Make sure I keep a little tab in here so the line doesn't get messed up. And the way that the line is attached, I just have a simple bowline on the end of the loop, on the end of the line. And this line is Dyneema, so it's really slippery. In order to uh, attach the throw weight on here, you just pass the loop through and it's easy to, to slip on and off of that line. So let me drop it back off of here. And when you go to throw it, instead of trying to take the thing and just throw it like that, what you wanna do is take the line, you've got a ring on here, hold the line out, just pass the line through the ring, hold on to that end of it, and now you have a small sling. And you can use this to get a little bit of rocking momentum, and then when you pull apart really hard and you throw at the location you want, you should be able to get the line up and over the branch that you want to hit. Perfect. One throw and the line's over. Now I can just flake this line back into the throw cube. and we're ready to go. Now I can take, take the throw bag off, just pull out this extra loop. It's gonna pass the throw bag through that loop. The throw bag is off. This can now go in a pocket that's in the side of there, so it stays ready to go. The LEFS comes with a small line, section of line. So I'm just gonna Get that line off, find the end of it. There it is. And I'm just gonna tie a simple bowline around this loop here. That's ready to go. And now I can pull this line up and over the tree and I have my throw line ready to deploy again if I need to. So let me just pull these off. Pull a little extra line off. And the way I've set up my LEFS, I simply have an extra carabiner here so I can use it to make sure I've got lines attached where I need them. should just be flaking this directly into the throw cube. And there we go. Now I've got my throw line ready to go again. So I can just take the bowline off. Attach my throw line back to it. Simply pass the bowlin through the line, over. We're ready to deploy again if we needed to. I'll just use the little Velcro strap in here to make sure that the bitter end is ready to go.
Now to deploy the LEFS, I want to make sure that I'm not connected to the end of the wire. I want to be connected to the top of the antenna, which I've added just a short little line on here, and I can use that to attach, and then I still have the carabiner to do other things with if I need to. So let me just attach this line. I'm just going to use another bowline. Now, since I've got this end here, I'm going to go ahead and attach a short piece of coax, and Chameleon has these that have the integrated choke in them. So I'll just attach that onto the LEFS. Now, one of the other things that I've done is I've added a right angle connector here so that it allows my feed line to hang uh, straight without having to have any issues with that. So let's open this up. I don't have a huge amount of feed line here but we'll be able to get this antenna up in the tree just a little bit. And the way I'm gonna deploy this, I'm gonna put the uh, feed point up in the tree and then run it out as a sloper over in that direction. just a little bit. Now that we've got a uh, slightly different antenna set up, let's see if we can get this traffic to send out. Up here, let's see if we can get AJ7C again. So we can see we're back on 40 meters. And let's see if we can get a connection now. You can see our SWR, even without a tuner on the LEFS, is about 1.2, maybe 1.3 to 1. And it looks like we are getting a connection. It's showing our connection being about 81 kilometers, but that was from my home QTH, not from the location where we're currently at. And there we go. Look at that. We've got a pretty decent connection. Hopefully this will be able to pass this traffic. And again, we're only using five watts here. And look at that. About 350, 270 bits per second. Let's have a look. Did it send? It looks like it did send. Message sent one. Excellent. Uh, let me send uh, one more message to, to Dan. I'm going to come over here, click back in. I'm going to set up to uh, send one more message here, and I'm going to send it to NR6V. I'm going to CC my W6AH at Wave Talkers. And for the subject, Wrapping up, need pizza. Wrapping up here at the P3 
Pedra Blanca trailhead. Used the LEFS to send these messages. Five watts. Pretty cool. Seven three W six H. Post that to the outbox and go ahead and open the session, and we'll send one more message. And once again, very quickly to connect. You can see we've got a nice pattern here on the VARA screen. We're getting 363 bits per second in that, uh, that last volley. 363 bits per second again. And once again, one message sent. So that message did go out. We'll double check here in our outbox and make sure, yeah, it did in fact send. So there we are. We're gonna call that a success for being able to send some WinLink traffic. We used VARA HF and we deployed the Chameleon LEFS 4010 or 1040, I believe it is. Uh, which is good for the 40 meter band. We're able to connect to AJ7C's gateway. Uh, so this would have been pretty much an Envis configuration uh, here on 40 meters. So our signal, the LEFS is actually pretty low. It's only up the tree about maybe 10 feet or so, maybe 12 feet on this side. And then it slopes down and away from us here. And that's all we did. We just hung it up in the tree and on the bitter end down there, I literally just have a, a little piece of line and I've got it tied to a small shrub. So it's not pulling too, too hard on the shrub and uh, it worked just fine. We were able to make that connection using the ICOM 705 and five watts. Uh, we did have our solar panel station set up. So now it's just a matter of breaking everything down and heading back. Explain something.